I'm your host, Davida Shensky, and you're listening to Live Without Limits, Reach Personal Success on a Daily Basis. The purpose of this podcast is to help you with personal development, mental health issues, relationships, and personal growth. Today's presentation is along those lines, and it's called Four Ways to Get Out of Your Comfort Zone and Reach Your Maximum Potential. One of the limiting beliefs that we have come from that comfort zone, that we stay in that comfort zone and are afraid to get beyond it. Life is loaded with endless opportunities. Sadly, we don't always get a chance to enjoy these as they are often outside our comfort zone. We are used to doing things a certain way and anything outside our routine can seem uncomfortable. We don't want to deal with uncertainty. As a result, we would rather continue doing what we normally do as we know it, exactly what to expect. And this is how we're raised and how we're taught to believe. Switching things up and doing things differently is not easy, but it is something that we need to do. It is not easy to do. This presentation explores the steps and phases that you will go through when getting out of your comfort zone. Then go on to give you tips on how to get to that zone. Stages to expect when you leave your comfort zone. Your comfort zone as the name suggests, is the comfortable and secure phase where you are in. Everything is predictable and familiar. This is the case when you have a specific routine and you sort of know what you will eat for breakfast, what time you will leave your house for work and come back. Your life is pretty simple and there aren't many surprises or uncertainties. The fear zone. Once you decide to get out of your comfort zone, the first thing you encounter is fear. The change of routine can induce fear and anxiety as you aren't really sure if what you're trying to do will work or not. If you're used to going to the gym in the evening and decide to switch it up and change your routine and start going in the morning, you might be scared or unsure if you will be able to wake up on time and if you will not be late for work or school. This is certainly normal. You are changing from what you're used to, and you will certainly be a bit uneasy. Learning zone. Here, you accept and learn challenges and changes and start to get over that fear that you had. You learn more about the new habits and open up to the possibility that they could be beneficial. The learning zone also involves reading or watching material about the new habits so that you can come and become more comfortable with them. The growth zone. After learning about the new habits at the learning phase, you become more open to the idea of trying these new things. You learn to set new goals and embrace the new possibilities that you realize that the potential that could exist outside your comfort zone and you start to grow. Now, the four ways to get out of your comfort zone. Start small. Changes might seem big, 
but you do not have to make drastic changes in the first go at it. You can start with little things like diversifying your diet. Try making new meals that you otherwise wouldn't make. If you always eat lunch alone at work, try to have small talk with your colleagues and ask if you can join them. Once you accomplish this small change, you give yourself proof and evidence that you can do more. In turn, this makes it easier for you to try more new things. Make instant choices. Most of us normally take time to make decisions. We want to make the perfect decision and have to make sure that we have done all the research possible before coming to the final conclusion. In some cases, we run away from making the decisions entirely unless we are certain about the decisions that we make. I am guilty of this, and I feel sorry for my boyfriend because he ends up having to make all the decisions on his own. This need to make the perfect decisions means that we are always in our comfort zones. Once in a while, make instant decisions. Do the first thing that comes to mind and allow yourself to try out new and unexpected things. Expand your skill set, whether it is in the professional a social act. Improving your skills enhances confidence and allows you to comfortably jump through the boundaries that you might have set up for yourself. If you were thinking about switching careers but had doubts in your capabilities and skills, improving your skill set, will make it easier for you to transition and explore new career options. Challenge your beliefs. Beliefs and morals are great contributors towards who we are as people. They shape the choices we make and the region that we consider our comfort zone. Most of us are guided by beliefs that we can't explain the logic behind. Certain things just are, and we gladly accept them as such. In an attempt to grow out of your comfort zone, it is important to know how to challenge your beliefs. Understand the why behind certain things that guide you. These uncomfortable alternative perspectives you get will make it easier for you to adjust your beliefs and perceptions, realizing that the potential that exists behind our comfort zone is not always easy. Oftentimes, we need to have the courage to go beyond what we know and trust and the unknown, although it can be scary. One of the greatest requirements for challenging your comfort zone is realizing and acknowledging that is your potential. The best way to do this is by looking back at the things that you have accomplished already and using these as proof of what you can accomplish in the future. Reframing your mindset and believing in yourself will allow you to challenge yourself and explore new things. Start small and constantly surprise yourself by making decisions that are seemingly unlike you. Remember that your maximum potential lies beyond your comfort zone. 
for all of us, our comfort zone is where we live because it feels comfortable and it reduces stress. One of the things that I have is a challenge. It's just called success on a daily basis. And it's the seven ways to reach success on a daily basis. It's a seven day challenge that's free. And you can go to success on a daily basis.com forward slash join the seven day challenge so that you can learn to get beyond your comfort zone. And I also have a course that's titled reach personal success on a daily basis. The idea being that if you want to be successful, you have to learn to get beyond that comfort zone and learn that you can challenge yourself to reach as far as you can and you do not have any limitations. That it's not you that set the limitations on yourself, but it's other people and that because they've told you over and over again that this is your limitations, you buy into this is your limitations and this is where you sit instead of getting beyond your comfort zone.